Welcome back again to Joe Stunner Boxing. Uh, there was a, an interview with Tony Bellew on TalkSport. Uh, Simon Jordan, uh, strangely enough, he let Bellew speak and didn't seem to think that he had a guest on who was just there to act as a foil for his own comments. But Jordan let Bellew speak. And the subject was Arta Baturbiev. And the fact that Baturbiev um, had an atypical finding uh, prior to the Callum Smith fight... Um, has never looked stronger or better at almost 39. And his HGH levels, human growth hormone levels, are increasing or have increased, uh, which is extremely rare for, for men that um, are getting older, are getting towards middle age. Now, leaving aside what you think about Bellew, <laughs> because um, and leaving aside the fact that when it comes to other fighters, Conor Ben is a perfect example. And Conor Ben was mentioned in this interview. And Bellew was almost giving him um, not a pass, but um, hinting at a pass, let's say. Um, he, he was asked about Conor Ben's two failed tests, not atypical findings, but failed tests. And he was say, uh, Bellew said, well, you know, um, he was found... Uh, positive for having a female pregnancy, some sort of pregnancy substance in his body. And, you know, an awful lot of fighters have, 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 have had that in their, are finding that in their system because it's becoming more common. And it, it, it. so he fudged the issue, completely fudged the issue. So Bellew leaves himself open to accusations of hypocrisy. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Um, and, you know, we've seen it in the past with certain other things, you know, he came down like a jackhammer on, uh, Alexander Povetkin, especially when after Povetkin had ironed out his friend um, Pricey, uh, uh, David Price. So, look, I'm not here to stick up for Tony Bellew. Um, I find his track record when it comes to consistency, moral consistency, to be extremely tenuous. And, of course, if you have a moral, a moral point and there is no consistency, you end up ultimately being a hypocrite. Um, and your moral sort of dissipates in the wind you know it, it you, you cannot you cannot say um you know i'm opposed to a and b has done the same thing but i'm i'm going to make excuses for them no 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 i understand that there are such things in these arguments as nuance but you can't flat out say well no nah, let him off but you know there's some there's some wiggle room over here but it, look connor ben failed two tests Arta Baturbiev has never failed a single test. And as Dr. Margaret Goodman said, and if, you, if you're as old as I am, you'll remember Mar Margaret Goodman has been involved in boxing for literally decades. You know, she has an extremely good reputation. She said atypical findings are common. Okay? She, she herself said that, and she said that in no shape or form should this cast an aspersion over Baturbiev. <clears throat> now, having said all of that, it is extremely rare for a man of Baturbiev's age to have an increased human growth growth hormone level when, or should we say, without without it being manipulated. Let's put it that way, <laughs> you know, <laughs> without there being some sort of, um, you know, helping hand, pharmaceutical helping hand. And the question that and the what Bellew was hinting at is actually valid, leaving aside the fact that it's Bellew and there are some elements he's not being consistent and so on. What he's actually saying about Baturbiev, it is a question that should be asked. Now, if you're someone who just doesn't care about PDs in boxing and you just want to see good fights and you're one of these people who just wants to throw the towel in and say, well, you know, it's all they're all at it which, of course, not all of them are, but there's a load, a load that don't get caught and some do, so who cares? You know, it's all, it's all much of a muchness. I've never, ever held that view, ever, because that smacks of absolute moral and... Uh, it smacks of moral cowardice, but it also smacks of, uh, of a fool who's prepared to see boxing destroyed. And boxing, by the way, has many, many flaws, as we know. The whole political side of it, you know, bad decisions certain people being 
you know, it's considered as favourites. The absurdities of the ruling bodies, especially the WBC and the WBA, um, all of this stuff and above, these are all things that are wrong with boxing. But if you love boxing, what you don't do is you don't quit. You don't say it's it's all junk. You know, I don't care anymore. You know, just give me give me some good fights. You know, and if someone else was if someone's juicing and he kills the other guy, or puts the other guy in a coma. Ah, oh, well, you know, no one forced him to get into the ring. You know, then you sort of then you sort of toddle off to that sort of stupid libertarian view that uh, everything should be allowed regardless of its consequences. Uh, look, Paterbiev is almost thirty nine years old, and yes, he looks like a caveman, and yes. Every individual is different. Every individual um, should be taken on their own merits. Uh, you know, Baturbiev, <laughs> he's, he is, I can believe he's a freak of nature. But it does bear asking, hmm, is something going on here? Now, some of you might say, well, hang on a minute. Look at some of the greatest fighters of the last 30 or 40 years. Look at Roy Jones, James Tony. There is a look at look at people who never tested positive for banned substances, but there's a huge question mark over them. Evander Holyfield, Manny Pacquiao, one Juan, Juan Manuel Marquez is another one. I would say if you put a gun to my head, all three of those at some point were doing naughty things. Uh, and by the way, Roy Jones Jr. is, is the, the most extraordinary fighter I've ever seen in my life. And I'm in my mid-50s. You know, but am I going to give him a free pass for failing a test? No. That's a black mark over his career. Canelo, another one. You know, is he has he carried on since he got popped uh, using illicit substances? If I'm forced to answer the question, yeah, I think so. I think he probably probably has, but I don't have any evidence. All right, and whereas I'm suspicious of Paterbiev, as great a fighter as he is, I think he'd be great without the without any sort of you know, chemical enhancements, just as Jones would have been, just as Tony was, just, you know. Yeah, you've got to ask the question, though, you know. Um, was he helped or has he been helped throughout his career by being manufactured, shall we say, or having that helping hand that takes his considerable talents to the next level? Because when you get to that point, to that elite level, the margin of difference is extremely slight. It might be less than 1%. So everybody needs that sort of, you know, edge. And in other sports as well. I mean, it's not just boxing. You know, you, you, you cast questions over you know, Usain Bolt, for example. You, you've, got, you've got to ask a question. Can someone be that good without ever doing something they shouldn't be doing? Um, you know, it, 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 it bears questioning. It bears that these questions are valid. And just because it's Tony Bellew saying them and kind of morally he's on very, very thin ice, you know, again, I repeat, Conor Ben failed two tests. Baturbiev hasn't failed one. Is it feasible that Baturbiev is doing worse things than Conor Ben did? Yes, it is possible. But unfortunately, we have to go on the premise that you're innocent until proven guilty, not you're guilty until you're proven innocent, you know. Conor Ben was nicked twice. That's that's what the and, and it, I know it was his subsequent behaviour and the behaviour of Eddie Hearn and Ben's team and so on. They made complete fools of themselves. But the fact is, they, he failed two two tests. But Terbiev, whether we like it or not, hasn't failed one. But yeah, by all means, hang a question mark over a few fighters' heads. I mean, I'm I'm not I'm not uh, saying that we should condemn them. I'm not saying that you know someone who hasn't failed a test should be um, should have their reputation shredded, but it's perfectly legitimate to ask questions. But just maybe if you're not Tony Bellew, no, I'm only kidding. Bellew's entitled to his opinion. He's been in the ring. He's been a world champion. Whether you agree with him or not, he's entitled to his his opinion. So I just thought I'd share that with you. Give me your comments below. Um, what do you think of the whole thing? And uh, of course. As usual, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you for subscribing if you have already. It means a lot to me. And hit the like button, and I'll catch you later. Bye for now.